up Ohio State? Oh wait, you might recognize this next one and if you do feel free to sing along or jump up and dance if you have to. Thank you. Thank you. Raise your hand if you like music. Yeah. <laughs> if you love music, say yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, TEDx. We can do a little better than that. If you love music, say yeah. 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 Music is one of the few human universals. People all over the world, from all walks of life, love music. And I am a street musician. Before I was a professional musician or had a bunch of music degrees, I was making music on the streets. And I truly believe that street music will transform the world. Historically, the most influential and important forms of music were developed on the streets. Blues, which came out of slavery and became the DNA of black American music has a long and rich street, to street tradition. Jazz music emerged directly from the streets of New Orleans, Louisiana at the turn of the 20th century. And uh, how many of you have heard of hip hop? <laughs> Where did hip hop come from? The streets. Bronx, New York, 1970s, developed by who? Black and Latino youth. What is it about the streets that fosters such innovation and creativity over and over again? As not only new music was developed, but it fostered communities that developed new cultural innovations. It influenced the fine arts, visual arts, literature, poetry, how people dressed, how people talked, what people ate, and of course, how people dressed. What do we have to do to create the next blues, the next jazz, or the next hip hop? We got to take the music back to the streets. When I talk with some of my colleagues about the state of the arts and young people in music, uh, many of them, and they're professional musicians, music educators, say that young people just don't appreciate live, creative, instrumental music. 
I disagree. When I'm on the street, and I play for all kinds of people from all walks of life and get love from a lot of different people, but particularly young people go crazy for what I'm doing. And I'm not doing anything super hardcore, playing a beat, a little melody on top, bass line, but they really connect with it, and I appreciate the connection. <laughs> so it's not that young people don't appreciate live creative instrumental music, it's that they don't have exposure to it. They don't have access to it. So if we're to create the next big thing, the next big movement, we're going to have to do it in spaces that's accessible to everybody. Now in 2003 is about when I started playing music on the street. I was a student at the College Conservatory of Music in the University of Cincinnati. And I had access to a great formal music education, wonderful resources. And there were just elements that I wanted to get into my playing that I couldn't do in a formalized setting. And around this time, I met a dear friend of mine by the name of Willie Smart, AKA Brother Air. And he challenged me to take my music to the street to see if I could hang. And when I did, I soon realized that street musicianship is its own art form, with its own curriculum, its own lessons. It cultivates character, develops problem-solving skills, and it fosters creativity in a way that I've not seen in other spaces. So, and I'd realized that that's what's missing in, uh, amongst many student musicians and professional musicians. The spirit of the streets, the edginess of the streets. So I challenge all of the musicians, artists, visionaries, community leaders, collaborate and take your music and your art to the streets. And if you're not a musician, I encourage you to support the street arts, be a part of the movement, because without you, there is no larger movement. And together, we can create something new, something innovative, something that will change lives and stand the test of time. But if we are going to do that, we got to take the music back to the streets. Thank you. So I'm going to play one more song for you. This is something that I wrote while I was on the streets uh, about 2004. This is called Spira's Theme. I know, 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 I
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>